Your girl is back another day, amen, because she got electricity. So all my Floridians, stay in, stay safe, and stay hydrated. I am praying for you. Let's get into this video. Carmen and Big Boogie was at the BET Awards together since we're supporting her man that performed yesterday. Big Boogie was on BET today, y'all. Look at him. BET gonna come out with the BET. What's up with it, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? What's up with it? He's that voice for me every time. What's up, y'all? Oh my God. What's up with it? Today was a great day, y'all. He performed at BET. Yeah, it's gonna come out on the 15th. Congratulations, glad their relationship is still going strong. But Corey is single again. Danny, his now ex-girlfriend, deleted all their pictures off of IG together. And she unfollowed Corey. So Corey decided to go to Funny Mike's birthday party last night and was cutting up. Happy birthday to Funny Mike. So, Johnny. No, 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 no. I need an ice now. Nigga, I need a grill ASAP. You ain't know, man. King of grill. All right, so y'all, let's stay tuned, man. Johnny, but I know. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for the third time. Yeah. Okay, we got a whole lot of blues. We got a whole lot of old money. We got a whole lot of more blues. Hey, and we, and you know, my nigga, my nigga got one of those ones. CJ So Cool dropped the video responding to CJ on 32. In my previous video, I reported that they're beefing again. CJ So Cool said that this is all for views, but it's looking like things are starting to get serious after CJ on 32 posts a text message from one of Royalty's children alleging that CJ So Cool has been touching Jalea for years. Now, supposedly CJ So Cool was gifting Jalea toys in exchange for her silence. The text message also goes on to say that this is an open investigation that's being looked at currently. Now, the supporters are shocked and they have been commenting, if this is so, why? Is royalty allowing Cordea to go over there with CJ so cool? And if this is an active investigation, did this just start or was this going on between royalty and CJ for a while? And if so, why wasn't this mentioned during the court hearing when they was fighting for the twins? I'm not saying that one of the kids didn't text him. I would prefer to hear this from Jalea Mouth strictly. This is definitely out of line to use this as a, oh, I got one up on you type of situation. This is not no play play type of situation when you bring this out. Real quick, I'm jumping in because supposedly CJ on 32 is saying that royalty his mom reached out to him recently and told him about this particular situation. Now, y'all leave y'all comments down below. Like I said, I would prefer to hear this from Jalea's mouth because this is getting way too messy. This ended up being a CJ on 32 versus CJ so cool to now a whole investigation. Lexi took to social media because now she's requesting for a lawyer because she want to sue CJ on 32, but you got Royalty's mom saying that this is true. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to this. <laughs> my ex liking all her pictures saying join the winning team bro you've always been weird to me ever since i seen what you did with royalty and you tried to denounce it as we just been cool this whole time that was cap anybody believe that you're weird you hanging out with your man's baby mamas who he's beefing with literally spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to go against in court battling almost got into a shootout with almost got jumped because she brought six people to kill me and you siding with her saying, oh, we was cool too. You was never cool with her. She was definitely not cool with you. She used to tell me all the time how fake you was. But back to the jury, because that's everybody's really main concern. They're like, where your jury at? First of all, I still have a jury. The jury that I wanted to keep, I kept. And everything I didn't want, I sold. Let me tell you why. I'm scrolling on Instagram and I see the price of gold just went up. A kilo is now a million dollars. What did CJ say? Oh, this is great news to me. Ali, what up? I'm trying to sell this jury, bro. This stuff then went up in value. Oh, well, CJ, actually, I scammed the freak out of you and your jury didn't go up at all. You actually lost the majority of the value and now you only got like 10% equity in your jewelry. So, I mean, basically, you got scammed. How do you want to go about it? We arguing on the phone, this is impossible. How is this? Well, your jury's 10 karat go. Okay, this is my first time hearing about this. I didn't, I know some of y'all are different. I never took off my chain, looked at the back and said, where's the engravings? What kind of gold is this? I didn't do that. Is that my fault? Yeah, let me tell you why it's my fault. I'm hanging around people who don't know anything. So long story short, the jewelry that I had wasn't worth anything. More specifically, I paid 100,000 for a chain, right? He said it was worth 7K. How would you feel? 7K is crazy. Would you? You probably would, but not me. I'm not walking around with this in my head saying, it looks good, it costs a lot, but it is. Seven, 100K, just for it to be worth seven bands? I actually want him to waste his money and buy my jewelry and then give it to you guys. Because then 
I would, I would be literally winning. Because if you get it for free, then you're winning. But if you pay what I paid, you got scammed. <laughs> I thought everybody knew this when buying jewelry, bro. From a top jeweler or anything, bro. If you're not making a jewelry, you're not going to get what you paid for, bro. I thought everybody, that's what everybody agreed on. If it's not, like, if you're not buying gold, like, actual, like, gold, and you're just buying, like, down. And I thought everybody knew that when buying jewelry. Apparently not. Now, let's talk about DDG, because he tells the truth about the cherry situation and what really happened. I knew the cherry was coming. That's what the seat was for at his concert. I'm sorry. Santa Claus not real either. Y'all think I'm really finna sit there? Oh, cherry. What was what? What was I? What as a man? What you supposed to do in a situation? Staged or not? You ain't supposed to let no man put no cherry in your girl mouth. Whether y'all together or not, whatever. You ain't, if you if you just met a girl last week and you took her to Usher concert, he tried to put a cherry in her mouth. You gonna let it sit there? You gonna let him put the cherry in her mouth? No. I did what a real nigga would do in any situation, but I'm sorry to bust y'all bubble, but I knew about the cherry. I'm friends with Usher. Why would he do that? I'm having a rough morning. You're having a rough morning? Why? Because Why? my iPad died. Your iPad died? Well, it's charging, so, it's, so it, doesn't that mean your morning is better? Hmm? Yes. Are you happy that you look handsome? Yeah. What are you excited about today? Christmas. Christmas is not here yet. Hmm? What's coming up next in October? What comes up next? November. I know, but what's in... What's the holiday in October? Halloween. Yeah. Mommy's birthday is coming up. Guess how old I'm going to be? How old am I going to be? 29. Yeah, 29. I'm excited. Are you? Yes. 